Hello everyone. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. I'm Deborah. This is Oscar, the sweet teeny teeny kitty that he is. Yes, he's very teeny. All 18 pounds of him. But uh, he was walking by so I snatched him up and said, you're going on the camera with Mama. He's purring, but he's like, why am I up here? Why can't I continue on my cat journey today? Would you like to get down? Yeah, there's birdies out there, aren't there? Okay. <clears throat> well, anyway, I always promise a little bit of Oscar in the videos when I can. There also, make sure you watch till the end. There will at least be a picture. Maybe two. Who knows? Um, <laughs> if you have any questions, oh, this hat. This is the Bucket of Buns hat. It was a paid-for pattern. And I'll have it uh, linked down below, at least some information. But if you just put in Bucket of Buns hat, you're going to come up with this. Yes. My hair is very thin now as I get older. But yes, I'm wearing pigtails. Suck it, age constraints. <laughs> I do have some crochet today, including my temperature blanket. I forgot last week. Duh. But first the life and stuff portion of the program, okay? Um, particularly more chilled out today than usual for my Saturday vloggy thing because I'm done working for the day. I worked four hours today instead of my usual eight so that I could go off with some friends to an Italian uh, heritage festival. It'll be the first one that they've had. This will be in Fountain Inn, South Carolina, which is outside of Greenville. It's in that area because I live pretty close to South Carolina in that area. So we're going to go check that out because apparently an Italian bakery is putting it on. Hello. I mean, besides, I'm a quarter Italian, so I have to get at least a quarter of all the baked goods, right? That's how it works, isn't it? Hey, a girl can dream. Anyway, going to be doing that today. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. I have just been uh, super busy. Can't help but play with my pigtails when they're up like this. I've been super busy with work as usual because even though I'm only working a half a day today, every day has been crazy. Um, taking on more responsibilities for my new position, even though I'm technically not in that position until the end of May. Go figure. You know, that's how that works. But it's just kept me super busy. So, you know, if I'm behind watching your videos, Tell me in the comments if there's a video of yours I should be watching. Like, really? Because I do, while I'm at work, I'm usually watching at speed and a half or sometimes two times speed, depending on my mood. And I do try to comment, you know, after I watch a video, but it's multitasking. I'm never just doing one thing, ever. We're watching TV, I'm crocheting. Um, I'm one of those people that bounces my leg all the time that will drive you absolutely insane. Yeah. I do that. Um, I also have nervous fidgets where if I'm super nervous and don't have something to do with my hands, I'll end up tearing up the skin on my thumbs just with my fingers. Oh, all these scratches. This is eczema. We think at least and get a good look at it. I don't have any concealer or anything on. I just have a little bit of like eye makeup, just a little bit. But um, yeah, I do see a dermatologist this coming Friday. My first dermatologist appointment ever. What I'm really most annoyed about about this stuff up here, it started giving me gro crow's feet. I've had some little fine lines, but the dryness up in the corners has made them really stand out. And I'm like, dude, I know I'm old, but really, do I have to have those? It's bad enough I got gray hair. I might color my hair. I might not. Because, oh yeah, up under here, there's a lot of gray, a lot of silver. But it's okay. I am 51, by the way. In actual years, I'll, I'll be 52 in June. Speaking of being 52 in June, my birthday week, I'm off work because I take my week, my birthday week off every year. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways and stuff around these parts. So make sure that you are subscribed, that you have your notifications turned on. And when you enter giveaways for that week, make sure that I can see your subscriptions. It's the week of June 15th, so that week, just, you know, plan on hanging out with Deborah, at least for part of it. It would be kind of fun, because, you know, I spent my 50th birthday in quarantine and lockdown right here in this house. You're supposed to go celebrate on the big, on the birthdays that ended with a zero, right? Yeah, there was none of that, so I was kind of disappointed with that, but, 
you know, I do take the week off for my birthday every year because I don't want to work on my birthday. Why should I? Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. Another life thing that, oh, we have had some issues with our house insurance. Okay. They got stupid. We have never made a claim. Never. Okay. They came out and saw that our gutters had issues. They're full. They were dirty. They need to be cleaned. Okay. We got somebody out here, cleaned the gutters, um, and actually put the gutter guards on them so that we should not have that problem again. All good, right? Take pictures, send pictures to the insurance agent for the new insurance policy. And apparently the agent did not send on the pictures and did not send on the sent the, the signed forms. So we got a notice from the new insurance company saying, you're going to be canceled on May 6th because we don't have this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. Contact your agent for more information. Oh, please. All right, when I'm at work, I can be super professional and keep it all reined in, you know, especially since I'm at home and I don't have to face people because if I'm thinking it, my face is pretty much saying it, okay? The hubby takes care of that because he is super chill, super calm, super patient, does not raise his voice. He, but me, I can go from professional at work to ghetto in about 2.5 seconds and I'm done. This particular agent has done ticked me off. So Monday morning, because of course we get this letter on a Friday afternoon. Monday morning, he's just driving up there because it's, you know, local agent person. And I said, she better be glad that I'm not the one that's going up there. I said, and you had, because I would pull, I would seriously pull a Karen. Okay. I said, you need to be pulling a little bit of a Karen because you need to be talking to her boss. This is unacceptable. He said, oh yeah, I will be speaking to her manager and we will have a different agent. Good. Because you don't want me. I'll hurt your feelings. Okay. I'll hurt your feelings, your mama's feelings, and seven generations of your ancestors' feelings. Don't play. And don't screw me over by not doing your job. Yeah. Anyhow, enough of that because I will get on my soapbox. <laughs> there is crochet in the world. Oh, and all this stuff on the channel I got to tell you as well. Um, oh, I'm, I'm behind on everything. Everything. But I did send out um, a package full of hair scrunchies that I made to Rose. Rose likes crochet. Uh, because she collects stuff for wings and this past month there were hair scrunchies hair ties and a couple of other small things And I just I'm like dude scrunchies. I'm on it So I made a bunch of scrunchies including some that I never showed y'all because I finished them afterwards and just shoved them in the package and uh, Sent that off this week. So hopefully she should be getting that it's small, but you know every little bit and all that um, What other crochet stuff? I started some stuff that's over here that, oh, I do have it here. Good. I'm like pointing like it's over here like you can see it or something. Crochet. I have a sort of faux. A sort of faux. A, a faux-ish thing. Okay. I am participating in the hashtag rock2022 AU being put on by Judy at Witch Peace Crafts. And twice a month, on the 1st or the 15th, she shows an album cover. And it's either about the album or about a genre or whatever. And you are to be inspired by it in some way and make something. Take pictures. Post it to her Facebook group. If you're not on Facebook, you can email it to her. Um, I have managed to get everything in on time so far. And I did this one too. I know. Like, what is this? Actually, it should probably go this way. What is that hot mess, you may ask? Did I get any yellow in there? I did get a little bit of the yellow that I wanted in there. Um, the album for this one was Chipmunk Punk in the genre punk. So I've been making squares with a big border around it, doing corner to corner, and it's going to be like a big stained glass looking throw slash blanket at the end. This one 
was for that. And if you see the cover of that, which if I remember, I'll stick that at the end along with a picture of this, you'll see that yes, I did get the colors of that album cover. There's some gray, there was gray in the garbage can, there's a lot of brick behind them, blue in one of the chipmunk shirts, green in another one. So yeah, I did get, I pulled colors off of there, just inspired by that. That's what I've been doing. Some people are taking inspiration from other things. Um, Trisha, the knitting lady, who is awesome, by the way, if I, I hopefully I'll remember to stick her thing up here, Trisha. Um, she met, used to listen to punk, right? And then stuff. And she made sort of the sign and awning that's hanging over CBGB's. I'm like, yes, that's so cool. Anyhow, I did that. I finally got it finished up. And yes, I had about 8 million ends to weave in. And look, they are all in. They are all in there, baby because I weave in my ends when I remember. Okay, tossing that on the bed. Next, I have started, I think it's gonna be a hat. <laughs> no pattern, because why would I do that? This is some yarn that I purchased, I think from Smiley's. It's Yarn Art Ocean. Oh my gosh, isn't that blue just beautiful? This is wool. Hand wash, dry flat, do not bleach. It says it's a fine number five. Yeah, it's a little big for a four, a little small for a five, so I guess that, that would fall there. And it says to use a six and a half millimeter hook, which I am using for this. And anything else to say on there? What's the size of this sucker? Hello. It's 100 grams and 180 meters. Oh no, it's not all wool. It's 20% wool and 85% acrylic. But it's roving, y'all. It is roving and it's beautiful. Roving means it's not going to split, but it will go thick to thin a little bit. Not much though. I haven't noticed much of that in here. And I'm just playing with this hat thing. It may already be too big. I may have to frog some back because, you know, why would I measure, right? I just started off with half doubles and then I'm going to like this V-stitch kind of deal. I'm going to see about another hat because why wouldn't I? Because I obviously need hats, right? In Georgia, in the summer. Okay. Ta-da! I know I forgot last week. I'm such a doof. This is the temperature blanket in progress, okay? The wonky numbers are representing different things. This very first one on the upper left-hand corner is 22 for 2022. This one is for the first month, January. Each month will have a number of what month it is. There is the occasional random square that's going to have just something else on it. Um, I did one that was just like random top stitching in a swirly pattern because I have to have, I think three of those to make the squares work out. It's 19 squares across do, 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 and it's going to be 20 squares long. It's going to be pretty big because I'm going to put a border on it afterwards too. And I'm kind of digging the way my colors are working up. Okay. I think there's that weird one. Yeah. This is my wonky top stitching random design abstract one to fill a space. And mainly I did that so that I wouldn't have like the start of a month at the very end of a row. I just I couldn't deal with that. And yes, I have this on a graph. So I knew what I was doing, right? So this is it so far and I'm really loving the colors. And yes, I wanted the white on the borders to stick out. Uh, the inner color is the low temperature for the day. The outer color is the high temperature in the range that I have chosen. Handy dandy little bag. In that handy dandy little bag, I keep my crochet hook. So I'm using the same hook all the time. I have my little book. The front of the book says, <laughs> things I can't say during a video call. I bought that because I just thought it was cute. And every day I write down the low, the high, and in parentheses, I'm also putting 
it in Celsius. I'm trying to get to where I remember the Celsius temperatures. And then I have numbers in the middle representing what colors numbers it is so that it's easier for me to find. Um, whoa. See, I have my ranges of temperatures and samples of my colors. So if I say I need a number four and a number six, then I know that I'm looking for this little guy here for number four and this little guy here for number six. And I kind of tried to keep them all in the same color family. I know a lot of people do really cool random color things and they look great. I was looking for something with blues and purples. And all of this is Hobby, Hobie, the company out of Denmark, uh, their Hobie Amigo yarn in a three weight. Cause I knew this was gonna end up being a really big project. I didn't want it to be too big. So I am doing it in a DK weight, which has been just fine. Even on days when I am super busy and I have just got no crojo whatsoever, it helps me personally with the noggin because I know that I can get this one little thing done. One little thing. And that one little thing is doing my square for the day. Oh, and I put a stitch marker on the front and the start of each row. And when I get to the end with my 19 squares, I crochet it on that day. And I crochet each square together the day that I make it. I know that I can do a two round square and then just be like, whew, I'm done. And I weave in my ends and I put it together and I weave in everything right then and right there. Some days it's tough. There have been days when I've been doing a square at midnight, right before I go to bed because it has just been a tough day, but I know that I've accomplished at least one thing. And when you deal with depression and anxiety and things like that, being able to accomplish even the, the smallest of things sometimes is like a huge victory. Okay. Other days, this is just something I do on my first break from work. I write down my temperatures. I start, I pull the collar. I have an order that I do things in. Okay. I get the book. I pull up the website where I get the temperatures. Uh, look at yesterday's stuff, write it down, write down the Celsius conversions because sometimes I have temperatures that are similar. So I can already do that. Write down the number of my colors. Okay. Then I pull out my bag full of yarn that I have for this one project and I go, okay, I need a number four. Make sure I've got the right one because if you don't have the light just right, some of them look the same. And I need a number seven and I need my white to join and I get those three things out. When I finish my center for the low, I put that back in, in the bucket. Finish the high, put that in the bucket. Weave in all the ends. Doop, 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 doop. Get the white, join it, weave in those ends, I'm done. And if you ever found a temperature blanket or anything daunting because you think, oh my gosh, that is so much, I can't crochet that much every day. Try something little like this. And as long as you don't let it get behind, you can keep up with it every day. At least if I can, anybody can. It's just one little square every day. I saw people that were doing this in mass, like do four rows. For, no, I can't commit to that. So what's coming up next? Plants. I still have just that one tomato plant that croaked because I broke it. And it yeah, um, another one that has breaks in a couple of places, but it's still living. I've got it propped up and it's, it's hanging in there. I do need to go out and water and stuff today and probably take pictures before I post this video and my stuff inside. I have more plants that I need to um, start and then you know, do the little starty sprouty things. I will have a sort of a mini haul video that'll come out sometime this week. Some of it's stuff that is already being used because the timing was just off on it and I just couldn't, couldn't get my stuff together, okay? Some of it's plant stuff, some of it's yarn stuff, some of it is stuff uh, about giveaway that's going to be happening during my birthday week. What, what, what? Yes, I have kind of lost my mind. I'm going to be getting out amongst friends and in public and outside, which is weird for me for the first time in a long time. So I'm looking forward to that festival today. There's a craft fair I want to go to next week. So I'll be working a short schedule again. Yeah, that's kind of weird. 
Instead of 65 hours a week, I'll be working 61 for a couple of weeks. Make that money, y'all. <laughs> I do want to thank you for coming by. I'm looking back here. I've got my poker butt peanuts sitting here. I had to take a picture. Oh, sorry. We're back to work stuff. They were doing like a scavenger hunt, but you could put everything in one picture. And it was just a few things having to do with different groups at work. And one of the things they wanted was glasses because somebody who invented like some process with glasses they were celebrating for, for the women of you know, the world. And one thing was uh, peanuts for somebody who did something with peanuts. And I didn't have, I didn't want to just be normal and get like peanut butter. Oh no. I busted out the pucker butt. Pucker butt. <laughs> if you, you know what that's all about. I've done reviews of two kinds of these now. Um, and the name of the company is pucker butt. And it's just fun to say. And yeah, in a particular group now I have been nicknamed. Pucker butt. So there you go. And they're really good. They're kind of spicy, but they're really good. Um, so yeah, I had gathered all this stuff together and laid it out in such a way that I could just take a picture of it all at once and submit it because it enters you to win um, like a $20 company store swag gift card, you know, t-shirts, hats, that sort of thing. So what? Free swag. I'm all about that. And yes, I know this does not quite match this. You know what? I'm okay with that. Although if it's really bright out, I might take this off and take down the pigtails and put on a big sun hat that I have because I just don't do sunlight very well. But anyhow, thank you so much for putting up with this. If you've lasted this long in the video, you're a real, real trooper. <laughs> I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, I'd hope you consider doing so. And also turn on notifications because YouTube is real bad about not telling you when somebody has put out a video. Just saying. I'd love it if you left me a comment. Uh, I'd love it if you left me a like. You know, all that good stuff. All your people that, that you watch on YouTube, that you laugh along with and, and enjoy their life and struggles with. Trust me, the likes, the subscribes, the comments help. I would love to get to a thousand, you know, subscribers and, um, you know, be able to get monetized or whatever. That would be cool. That would allow me to do more giveaways. That's for sure. Just saying. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Stick around for the short slideshow. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.